Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the west coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome back. Today I am upholding our tradition of going to Home Depot. It's not Friday night, but close enough. My plan for today is I'm going to try and start a herb garden on the boat. So I'm looking forward to that. I've been researching some full sun herbs. It looks like a lot of them do really well in lots of sunlight, which is what we get here on the boat. If you saw our last video, you'll know that I recently picked up a tomato plant for the cockpit and so far it's been doing well. It's I've only had it for a couple days, but yeah, I'm really excited to expand our little boat garden. So I'm gonna head up to Home Depot, run some other errands while I'm out, and take you along with me. Okay, so I don't think my plants are gonna be very happy with me, but since I came all this way, how can I not go outside and play a little bit? It's super hot in here too, so I gotta get out. <laughs> the hall. I got um, my tomato plant which you've already been acquainted with. Uh, I got a bag of potting soil. Hopefully this is enough. Uh, Home Depot was out of potting soil so I just picked this up from the grocery store and I'm hoping this bag will do because I don't want to buy a whole other bag. And then 
I got chives, a little English cucumber, some rosemary, some cilantro, mint, and lastly some basil. I try to get herbs that I actually eat and that I'm going to use frequently. I also aimed for full sun herbs. All of these love the sun, so they're going to be perfect for the cockpit, I think. Oh, and to put them in, again, not the best selection. I just got this. Um, it's actually a hanging basket, and it was just sort of the cheapest option. And I also wanted something small so it's portable, because if we go out for sailing, I can either take the plants with us, or if it's for a shorter period of time, I can just keep them on the dock and so I'll be able to move it back and forth really easily. And I also wanted plastic because, although I would prefer to not use plastic, breakable pots on a sailboat are not the best idea. So that's why I went with this one. And yeah, let's get planting. Okay, right, so how do we do this? First, pop up the pop out the water drainage hole. Holy, oh, this is in there. Why don't we use a spoon? Holy. Remove the plug. So I will definitely be making a mess, but that's okay. First step is our soil. Oh, this is going to be perfect, I think. Hmm. Okay. If I'm being totally honest, I might not have enough room for all of this. But, I think you can kind of crowd herbs, right? I feel like I always see herb gardens that are like just all over the place. Debatable. I also try to get plants that are uh, sort of easy to grow. Like I know chives just go crazy. Oh, this is so cool. No need to remove the pot. This is in its own little pot. That's cool. Wow, that was really cute. Okay, where do I want you to go? Oh, I think this will fit okay. Um, See, so yeah, I got chives because they kind of grow like weeds, basically. Uh, basil, I had a basil plant one time that lasted a very, very long time. I miss it quite dearly. It was forgotten one year when I moved, and and yeah, well, I uh, yeah, it's a long story. Let's go less leafy. I'm gonna go in a circle. Yep, that's the way. This is how it's looking so far. I just have to pack soil around, but I think it'll be okay. They could, they would probably appreciate a little more space, but I'm just gonna believe in them that they can share amongst themselves. I would have done this outside, but I get camera shy, so. Doing it from the safety of my own boat. And I think I'm gonna have enough soil to transplant my tomato plant as well. Or, oh well, I guess my cucumber. Anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad I have enough soil because I was worried that this wouldn't be enough. But I'm also glad that I didn't get two bags because that is one thing I don't want extra. I'm worried about the cilantro. <laughs> I'm sure it'll perk up. Mm, it smells so good. I love the smell of herbs. Well, I think that's it for my herb garden. This is it. Uh, I have to water it, but I think it looks awesome. I'm really excited. It'll perk up a little bit once I stop, you know, fiddling with their roots and 
give them some water and yeah I don't know how happy they were after I kept them in the hot car for a few hours but they're doing good um, yeah I think we're supposed to have a couple of really nice days here so they're not gonna be too bad what is this plant I don't recognize some of the leaves on the cilantro, but oh well. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Once I get them in the sun and give them some water and stop tampering with their root systems, they'll prick up a bit. And I still have more soil, way more soil than I expected, which is great. Because I think I should probably put my tomato plant into a bigger container. I just actually had this in my truck because uh, I knew there would be a time where I used it and now's the time. So yeah I just feel like it might be a little happier in a bigger pot. And then my plan for this pot is hopefully I can put the cucumber in it. Are cucumbers trellising? We'll see if I have enough soil for that but to begin with I'll just do the tomato. In the past, I put that black material in the bottom of these pots. Uh, what's it called? It's the stuff that you use in your garden to suppress weeds. It's like that black material. Anyway, in the past, I've put that on the bottom because as you can see, there are many holes in this, which is good because it allows for drainage. But it also means that some soil, when I water it, may come out. And that black mat on the bottom solve that issue. I don't know where that went. It probably has ended up in the garbage. So I'm just going to go with straight soil and hopefully it's not that bad. If I do have a problem with soil getting all over the cockpit, then I'll just put like a mat or something underneath it. Where is my tomato? Alrighty, here we go. Big move. And then you break up the root system, I believe. That's what I've seen in the past. And then, I'll try and get you to center in here, buddy. Aw. Yeah, I think it's going to be much happier in here. Now more soil around it. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for my cucumber though. We'll see. Maybe I'll skimp a little. Um, I also don't have shovels, so hands are the best tool. So much fun just planting things like never mind the growing of them I just like planting them okay, one more handful and then the rest is going to the cucumber okay there we go tomato in a nice purple little pot it's gonna be much happier lots of room and final one cute little cucumber is absolutely adorable um but what do I want to put them in? Because there's not much soil left. Well, let's just see. Hmm. Ooh, I don't know what to do. I need like something in between this and this. Let's save as much soil as possible. This is a dilemma. This is a serious dilemma. Um, do I skimp off the top? I really don't want to buy a whole other bag of soil. Unless I grow more. Maybe I could just grow a bunch more, but slow and steady here. Can't get, can't get too far ahead of ourselves. It's 
steal a little soil from the herbs. They won't mind. Let's see how big this cucumber really is. Oh, maybe I'll, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put him in and he's gonna be happy in the home that I give him. I think that'll work. And then, I mean, you know, if I come across some soil somewhere, I'll be able to, oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> oh, this poor cucumber. I was doing so well up until now. I think that's okay. It's an experiment. That's what this is. I will either get a cucumber or not. And I'm okay with that. Here he is. So he's just, I mean, ideally the soil is a little higher, but we're working with what we got today. Um, now I'm going to clean up because I have just outdone myself with the amount of mess that I've created. Jonas, if you're watching this, it's probably a good idea that uh, you were not here today. <laughs> Don't know how much you would have appreciated all this soil. See, every little pinch counts. Okay, so here we have it. We have our cucumber, our mint, cilantro, basil, chives, and rosemary. Oh, rosemary is under the mint. Hopefully the mental share. And then here's the tomato plant, which uh, I got in the last video. So I'm gonna give these a water and then I'll put them outside and let them bathe in the sun and I will enjoy their presence. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I have a good feeling about this round of plants. It's very manageable and I like that. Hopefully the herbs aren't too crowded, but we will see. I don't think they will be. I've seen planters of these kinds of herbs just like going crazy so that's what i'm hoping for and yeah hopefully the cucumber will turn out and this is the aftermath honestly not bad considering considering it all not bad down here either Well, I am exhausted. <laughs> Today took a lot out of me. Um, I find running around town and doing a bunch of chores and being outside um, is can be quite exhausting, so I'm just going to take it real easy tonight. We've got another gorgeous sunset. We've been having the most beautiful skies recently. Well, that's funny. I see a sail going up right now. Someone's hoisting. Maybe they're going for a little sunset cruise. And yeah, I think I'm just going to have a movie night tonight and take it really easy. I am really exhausted. I'm excited to go check on the plants. I just kind of put them outside and left them there, and it's been a few hours now. So I'm excited to see if they've perked up and become accustomed to their new homes. I think that's all for today. I'm very excited to just take a relaxing evening and watch a movie. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to thank everyone who's decided to join our Patreon community. We are absolutely thrilled with the amount of support that we received, so thank you so much. If you're interested in supporting us on Patreon, you can find the information in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.